yo, yo, keep the strumming. Strumming, strumming makes me calm. Yo, are you playing? Are you playing? Yeah. Oh fuck, do you have like a sound card or something? No. Snipe ghost, I think I played with you. Hold on. Maybe. I think so. You sound cute, so. Uh oh. I'm in the wrong place then. Does so anybody point? want a 45 gallon tub of oil? I can't really. Uh, I don't know. Can someone do with that commend app? Blue for me? I love him. Is it is it like crude oil? I don't know who you sell it to, but sell it. Yeah, can you play with your feet? feet? I cannot play. Play it behind guitar. your back. My feet. Play with your teeth. Do Hendrix. Can't. Oh man. Woodstock Here's Hendrix. Do some crazy it. shit. I'm not gonna slobber up my guitar. Hendrix had money to get that cleaned afterwards properly. Hendrix is dead. That's another thing. Nice. nice. Yo, are you ready to record so you can do your Franz J impersonation? Bro, Franz J actually fucking commented on one of my videos I made about him. You plug me your guitar account. I have a guitar in my uh, room, but I can't play it. What? Dude, okay. you gotta learn to play that shit. I have a you know, Les Paul special too. I, I can't I was fucking a play. It. I, I was, is it? I is it a Gibbs? on one of Franz J's friends. Did you know Franz J is gay? Yeah, he looks it. If you got a guitar, man, you gotta learn to play it. You just, I'm trying, you, man. There's no, there's no right or wrong way, man. You just gotta make it make a sound you like. The, you're, you're fucking sexy. But... No, no, I'm not going for the sex appeal, man. No, no but you I'm got sexy. it, man. No, se sexy doesn't mean I wanna fuck you. I'm saying like you, I wanna fuck you, dude. How many polygons have you like experienced in your life? How many psychedelics have you done? A lot. Enough. No, I'm just I'm just listening. All right, I'm I'm uh, sorry. I'm very high. So so yellow. What's your what's your uh, what's the Fuck. worst psychedelic experience you've had? Two uh, five I N B O M E. Oh fuck! No, you're no what? You took that like consciously? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, no, stupid no, kid no, once. No, no, M bomb fucks you up forever. Yeah. I mean, that's what they say. I definitely wound up in the uh, intensive care unit, so you know. Oh my god, dude, that experience, like, like it feels like you're going in and out of consciousness and life itself. Like, you yeah. basically saw death. Too heavy for a Counter Strike game, but not a good <laughs> what, what about DMT? Yeah, I've tried DMT. Oh, uh, free base or a pen? Free base. You can get nah, you stuff I've, right now. Uh, I'm. I'm no, I'm I don't do I, that I, stuff anymore. Why not? Because I've done enough. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you've already had your mental experiences. I, I think psychedelics are a medical experience, and once you experience it enough, I think you're done. Like, you've experienced, like, everything. It's a memory, not like a need, not a drug. Seeing a different consciousness in its entirety is such a ex extensive, expensive moment. Like, it's well, right. like, and it's crazy. The... The whole thing where you know your perception is singular. Two five I N B O M E. It's a uh, research phenethylamine. Uh, just kind of like mescaline because it's in the oh he's paper room because it's in the phenethylamine family. So it's kind of an amphetamine. Hypes your blood pressure and your heart rate up and does certain things. Yeah, it's a uh, very very bad drug. The reason it's around is because it's extremely cheap to produce. And so yeah, you can. And, and people place it like they say it's acid. It has some familiar, similar effects to acid, I believe. I would take it up. Well, but... yeah, it's a psychedelic. Yeah. It causes geometric shapes and colors and stuff, but it's extremely yeah, intense. And it gets your heart rate up and it makes your muscles jitter. And it's kind of like a roulette whether or not some of your organs are going to shut down. I feel like we're all friends now. Like, we have a bond. I love okay. you. is a pretty interesting oh, lobby. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. No, so weed is interesting because it is kind of like a psychedelic. It affects your perception. So I feel like you guys are my big brothers. Like this is like a <laughs> life course and, at 5 a.m. on Counter Strike. Like this is this is what you get on Counter Strike at 5 a.m. for is the fun. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, DMT. If you ever want. Uh, very, very bizarre, potentially life changing experience. Give that one a shot. Would not describe it as fun. Can be fun. 
not a way I would I would describe it though. It, it depends on how you take it. If you do like what is it called? Oh, it's like rose budding. Over, <laughs> what do the other people on the <laughs> team or, think or of it? Some DT and the other half of the uh, we you have a good long experience that's mellow. Just it's all about your perspective beforehand going in. Like I, I I've had a lot of depression, so I've had to like a lot of bad perspectives, so I'm able to like fix myself from bad trips easily. But some people haven't experienced bad shit, so it's a lot harder for them. So I like the yeah. best way to do that is to get a better mindset beforehand and have a trip area, and that's it. Your life will change, and your life will either be better or worse. My brother heard voices, and he's a little bit schizophrenic now. So don't don't be holed up in your room. I, I had uh, a friend that got up to go to the bathroom during a trip. Last two were in the spawn. Okay, she opened the door to go out of the bedroom. Oh man, and she was all freaked out. And she charged out after a little bit, and she came back. We asked her what happened. She was there's dead people in the living room. I was like what? Jesus. She's like, yeah, there's just like dead people lying on the couches and shit. We we're like, oh my god, are you okay? She goes, what? Yeah, it was cool. I'm like, oh my god. That girl was crazy though. She would see bugs and shit, and we did acid. She had a great time every time. See bugs? Like, I get it. If you look at carpet. Oh, she would see bugs, like, instead of geometric pattern. She would see bugs crawling on things. It was the most bizarre way that she would describe it, but she never got freaked out. What drugs do is it, um, either inhibits you or makes you see more abstraction. Like, abstract subjects are a huge thing for humanity. That is consciousness, I believe. Or that if you see something that you can't understand, um, a lot of animals, an example, uh, <laughs> It could have, but uh, would we'll, we'll just freak Indeed, out, yeah. would we'll just freak the fuck out, and just be like, uh, uh, uh. but like, you know, like it, it, if a cat, it would freak out and start doing circles and like running around in circles in the fucking zero dub subspace environment. Yeah. But for humans, we're like, ooh, see, that's 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 that's, that's probably that's the inquisitiveness, like, what is this thing that I don't yeah, understand? But if you experience like more, like, less or like, less understanding and more abstraction, aka psychedelics or drugs. And that's like your reaction to that. It, it, it either it, honestly, I believe it makes you smarter, like because you experience more uh, unknown. According to you, you're you're in the doctorate class here. This is getting recorded. I hope. Yeah, no I, I gotta. This. I gotta. <laughs> I will keep study all it, he said. of this. Anybody <sighs> ever ridden roller coasters on acid? <laughs> no, I just can't <laughs> recommend rally, riding roller coasters on acid. Oh, tell me the experience. Were you Dude, warping? Or were you the getting is so bizarre? It feels like your body accelerates at different rates at different parts. So like your arm feels like it's going forward faster than your leg. Oh, that's fucking weird. <laughs> so you're just dissipating emotionally and physically. Yeah, it's like what is happening to me. Sometime I kind of want to like do a 150 UG LSD trip, like and just make the worst trip imaginable. I want to scare myself, honestly. You, you know that 150 is not very much, right? No, it says 750. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. Oh, the most I've done was at a festival, and I brought 15 with me. I think I ate three the first day, and then I ate five the second day, and seven the last day. What? No, well, you get a really high tolerance, so... Yeah, you do, but when you're up that much and you keep using it and you're smoking weed the whole time, it starts to prolong and the visuals get a little bit less, but the delirium gets really strong. I don't like the I like okay. the delirium better than the visual. What, what's your question? There's something that makes you in a like, dream state well yeah, conscious? Yeah, 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 like, like, kind of, oh, or whatever. Um, yeah, Datra. Zafa. Datra? Yeah. Gatra or Jimson weed is a plant that grows native all over North America. It's got kind of a spiky looking bud. And uh, you can buy it to be like a house plant. It's got a pretty flower. Um, but if you pop the bud and consume the flesh of the bud, I don't know what the chemical's called, but it causes this absolutely insane delirium that 
is indistinguishable from reality. So like you'll see people and things and in inter interact with stuff and you won't know it's not real. You won't really have any consciousness of it unless you- Can you, you type it in chat? I need to know this. It I is one you. that I would definitely recommend staying away from. The <laughs> only experiences I've ever read about that are fucking bizarre and they're all accidental. You know, somebody is like, I, my mom bought this flower and I was doing something with the buds and, you know, blah, 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 and all of a sudden, I'm, all this weird shit's happening. It's okay. The fact that you haven't done many drugs means you're... I'm only... Not, I'm, all, I'm 18. I'll morning. be 19 in, like, a week. Oh. Yeah, okay, so you're like, that's right when I started doing drugs. <laughs> doing for, like, three years. And then I cooled out. But, uh, <laughs> I, I like kid. to say that if, if you're in a good state of mind, and you think you can... LSD or mushrooms are a good experience Ooh. at least one time. Do them with people you trust. Mushrooms are better than LSD in my opinion. It's, it's oh, more I expensive. I like LSD so much better. Wait, why is that? It's more geometric. The trails are more coherent. The thought process is a little less spacey. Uh, I think shrooms are just... I, I like the natural. Like It feels a lot more organic. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. But I really like LSD. My mom came in. And my brother was like, that's DMT. And my mom's like, what is that? Uh, you oh, shouldn't my God, do that at your mom's house. I think Green asked a question. I don't remember what it was. Oh, no, it was just Steven that I want to kiss you. Oh, no. I'm oh. sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, play some fucking guitar. I'll suck your dick. GG, right that was... I hope we gotta play again sometime. That was like, yeah. we bonded hella hard. This was an interesting experience. It was fun. Good game, guys. Good game, boys. Where's the guitar? I need it. Help me. <laughs> yeah! There it is. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That was awesome.